It says, thank you for everything and never stop dreaming. What if it doesn't come true? Ah, but what if it does? It's Lisa, it's Lisa, it's Lisa, Danielle. Something like that. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Cuatro. Fo, 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 fo. That's what Walter says. Anyway, speaking of Walter, I'm wearing my Gifted G shirt today. Y'all can hit him up on his Instagram. Go copy one. Long sleeve, short sleeve, black and gray. Bujat, do you want to say good morning? Okay, well, yeah, you know. Let's do our to-do list, our Christmas to-do list. Can we get it right here, Lisa Dito? Thank you. So the first thing that we're gonna do today, duh, Starbucks. The second thing on our list, we're gonna go to my sister's house. If you don't know, my sister, she has two sets of twins. We are gonna climb Crowder's Mountain. Then after that, I'm gonna come back here and get back to work. So I think this vlog is gonna end earlier today because I have a lot of work to do. And I know y'all don't wanna watch me, so like, We'll be back. All right, so we just made it to my sister's house. I got my buck. Is everybody decent? I'm here. Well, I thought we were decent. Shut up. Yeah. Right. Let me in, Bellamy. Hey. What are we going to do today, Bellamy? Like a boo. What? <laughs> Good get, girl. Dance. Dance. Go, go. Bellamy, say hi. Hey. Boston, say hi. These are the B twins. The E twins are in school. Oh, hi. Sorry, I thought I said hi. Hello. You feeding the babies. Getting ready to go for a workout. Crowded Mountain, love it here. How was your hike? No. No? no. <laughs> okay, we'll get out of here. All right, time to go back down. What's up, y'all? I'm back. It's like almost dark outside. I don't know if y'all can see that. When you're dealing with my sister and her children, it's a lot, okay? My sister is a low-key superhero. Oh! Good news! I'm going to be doing the styling for one of the players for the Carolina Panthers. So I will be doing that this coming Friday. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go and pull looks at one of the local boutiques. So you guys will get to be a part of that. So I guess I will catch y'all later. Okay, so I was literally about to end this vlog and go to the grocery store so that I could like eat dinner. And then I will check the mail. So, if you guys do not know, I am the type of person that I just like to see people win. That's who I am. I actually would put more effort into other people's success than my own. I don't know why I'm that way. I sometimes think it's a curse. <laughs> so there is this YouTuber that I have been subscribed to for a very long time. Just in the past like year has have had like the craziest success on YouTube. And her name is Amber Scholl. And she's just so positive, like, and her story is just so inspiring. So I'm not one of those people that's like crazed fan. I'm never really a fan of people. I just really like to support people. So I'm the type of girl who won't be like, oh my God, you're so-and-so. Like, I'm the type of girl that'll be like, yo, keep doing what you're doing and just keep walking. Or like, yo, I really loved what you did and keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the type of person that I am because I think that everybody's the same. But anyway, so Amber Show. She just was really super inspiring with her story and she had this quote that I actually clung to um, and it's the one that says, but what if it doesn't come true? Ah, but what if it does? And I was like, yo, that's dope. And I actually wrote it down in my notebook. If you don't know, I left my corporate job in January and I completely am focused on running my clothing company, teaching dance and doing choreography, styling, and just things that are my brand. Lisa D literally worked from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. or sometimes not sleeping just to make sure that I could do the things that I really wanted to do. I made a lot of money at my corporate job and I used a lot of that money to invest in people. So if there was a dancer that couldn't pay their rent, I would help them with that. If there was a dancer that needed help paying for the hotel at a convention, I would pay for that. Like I literally took a lot of my 
corporate money and invested it into people and invested it into my business. And that quote is one of those things that it's just like, you can't be afraid to invest in yourself and you can't be afraid to like take that leap. So I really needed to hear that, especially given this year being such a huge year for me. Long story short, which is already a long story, she uh, collaborated with a jewelry company and actually had that, ah, but what if it does put on a necklace? So Lisa D bought it. Shout out to you, Amber Show. Congratulations on everything. I would have bought this no matter who created it because that quote is so important and special to me and it's what helps me keep going. I literally thought about having it tattooed on my body. So anyway, this has turned into an unboxing. I pre-ordered it, so it's been a, probably about a month. Oh, it's got her, what is this, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. <laughs> when you open it, this is what the necklace looks like and it's in her handwriting. Shout out to you, Amber Scholl. This is gonna be my new go-to necklace. I will be wearing this every day. Oh, I didn't even see this. Like, inside. It says, it has, it's her handwriting again. Personalization, y'all, details, details. Like, if you ever order anything from Danny Lee Apparel, link in the description, I always send like a handwritten note, like, details. It says, thank you for everything and never stop dreaming. What if it doesn't come true? Ah, but what if it does? X O Amber. <laughs> that is the cutest touch ever. This necklace is super dope. It's so important like that y'all just keep pushing for your dreams. And I know I'm still pushing and I'm still trying to make YouTube full time and teaching dance full time, which actually that is kind of my full time gig right now, along with Danny Lee Apparel. So, but I want to be able to like take care of my family off of that you know, money and I wanna be successful because I wanna, I'm, you know, I'm from nothing. <laughs> and I know everybody's heard this story before and that's why I don't usually tell it a lot because every, like everybody went through something and it's just about the journey and how you get out of it. I could go on forever. There's just an instant gratification thing with this whole generation and when you hear people talk about how they didn't give up when they could have given up or how when it got hard, they just prayed to God and just kept moving and it worked, that is amazing. Okay, but anyway, that ends the vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow and have a great evening and I hope that you get inspired by something today. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for watching my channel again. This is the real ending of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Deuces.